Here is another Trad Cat Night End Time Briefing for June 3rd, 2016. Now, for those who have been complaining about the volume, make sure that you're turning up the volume all the way on YouTube. You need to actually go to the video itself and make sure the volume is up all the way. Many of you are not doing that, and thus, this is why you're complaining. I can hear myself fine. If I can hear myself fine, you should be able to hear this talk fine. Continuing on, ladies and gentlemen, the latest news coming out today is in relation to thousands of atheists a gathering in D.C. for a reason rally. Now, this is very interesting news because if we refer to Albert Pike, known 33rd degree Freemason Luciferian, who lay, laid out the three world wars, the first two, of course, have passed, but let us take a look at what he has to say concerning the Third World War, because it is approaching. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agent tour of the Illuminati between the Zionists and leaders of the Islamic world. We already see this. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism, state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. That's what they want, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on the issue, will be constrained to fight to a point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economic, economical exhaustion. Now pay attention. We shall unleash the nihilists and atheists. What are we seeing lately with the anti-Trump rallies, the Occupy movements? Pay attention. And we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all of its horror will clearly show to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against these world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, which will finally be brought out into public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement, which will follow from the destruction of Christianity and atheism which will be conquered and exterminated at both the same time. So what I'm trying to say here is we're beginning to see these atheist uh, movements, if you will. They're getting together now in D.C. You'll be on the lookout because they will be picking up, I'm sure, here uh, over the summertime. And they want <coughs> Christianity to clash uh, with, these, with these movements, with this group, the atheists. This is their plan. I mean, they want complete chaos, ladies and gentlemen. They want us to go th at each other's throats. And so this is very telling because we already see how close we are to the Third World War. And then Albert Pike goes on to talk about how we will unleash these atheists. And here it comes. So Ruby Mellon from CNN reports today that Bill Nye, Louis Black, and get this, for credibility's sake, the members of the Wu-Tang Clan will be there. Now, if that doesn't say, hey, I need to be there, I don't know what will. Because wherever the Wu-Tang Clan is, I know that's where I want to be. Insert sarcasm. Uh, this is a high-profile lineup. Okay, whatever you say. Bill Nye, the fake scientist, and I believe Louis Black. I'm not sure if he's a comedian. The name kind of sounds familiar. Or political commentary, whatever. They'll be preaching to a mass of atheists Saturday at the Reason Rally. I remind you, Paul VI had a famous quote uh, going through the Second Vatican Council where he implied and said that reason would win out in the end. And I've been warning everyone, remember, we're, we're in the apostasy now with Vatican II. We're in a new humanism is being taught, and the next step is secular humanism. And that's what's going on here, secularism. 
And so we're continuing on with this actual article. The Coalition of Secular Organizations is expecting 30,000 people to descend upon Washington, where they will call for a non-religious approach to politics and a hotly contested presidential campaign. Does everyone not see this picking up? They also hope to flex the political muscles of the religious unaffiliated, turning one of the fastest growing groups into the, in the country into a powerful voting block. While the rally has scheduled musical entertainment, flashy speakers, and late night cocktail hours at neighboring hotels, the thousands of nuns, people who identify, who don't ad- identify with any religion, coming to the nation's capital also have a more serious agenda. The Reason Rally is absolutely a political event, said Executive Director Liz Lydell. That's the reason we're holding this in an election year. We want to see reason taking precedence over religious-driven ideology. Do you not get that? That's what Freemasonry teaches. Reason over faith. Reason, are they trying to do away with the dogma of faith, ladies and gentlemen? Do you not understand it? That is going to hit the Vatican when all religions are united as one. The dogma of faith will be lost. Secular humanism. The rally's major issues of focus are climate change, reproductive rights, and of course, LGBT equality. All hotly contested political topics whose opposing voices often come from the religious right. Larry Decker, executive director of the Secular Coalition for America, said his group has scheduled meetings uh, with more than two-thirds of the members of Congress, whom they hope to lobby on behalf of secular values. Here it comes, secular humanism. They also hope to soften some of the social stigma still attached to the atheist label. Now, according to a Gallup poll, 40% of Americans would not vote for an atheist president, though that number has declined in recent years. Uh, So while organizers hope to distance religion from the conversation, the rallies, attendees, and speakers include people of faith, notably such as legislators, uh, Representative Gabbard from Hawaii, Representative Bobby Scott, Democrat from Virginia, both Democrats, no surprise there. It would be great if we if we get proportionate representation in Congress. So now the atheists want to get in Congress, the, the, the Muslims want to take control of the government. This is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're handing things over. Uh, the nation should be ruled by Christians. We should be preaching the social kingship of Christ since we are so lax and since we are so pacifist. God is just handing us over to these twerps, these idiots. Now, the last reason rally held in 2012 may have had a much more uh, excluding vibe, Liddell said. Some of our speakers were anti-atheist and anti-religion. This year, she said the focus has shifted to secularism. Uh, We need to ally with people who share our goals. It's not an atheist versus religious conversation. Secularists might be the only group that sees hope in a presidential campaign so rife with uh, you know, animosity because the religious identity hasn't been uh, a big part of, the, of either party's leading candidates, said these reason rally organizers. So this uh, rally is slated to run Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. PM, again, look for more of these to come on the horizon. There will eventually be clashes, as um, Albert Pike had mentioned. This is this is pretty big news here, something I've actually been waiting for uh, for the last half year or so because I saw how close we were to World War III. We'll see more and more of these anti-Trump protests, Occupy movements, all funded by the Jew World Order all in an effort to create more and more chaos. They want a race war here. They want revolution. They want state versus state. They want the people versus the government. They want all-out pandemonium, and they will get it. So this is shaping up to be perhaps a, a perfect storm, if you will, for this summer as we're leading up to the elections. Let's see how it plays out, ladies and gentlemen. But I must remind you, please subscribe to Tradcat Night for all of the latest end time news, all of my latest briefings covering the church apostasy as we head closer to the form one world religion uh, in Rome under the false prophet Yeshua ben Joseph, but then also 
we'll take you up to speed as we go through uh, what seems to be a potentially hazardous summer all the way up through the elections covering the state side of things as we get closer and closer to uh, secular humanism really in every aspect of life as the one world socialist republic continues to solidify itself get to tradcatnight.blogspot.com for all the latest blogs for the day uh, along that right hand side a, a plethora of information traditional catholic apologetics covering secret societies twitter feed pumping out hundreds of stories um we are the most comprehensive and follow traditional Catholic apostolate worldwide, bringing special guests on quite frequently onto the radio show. And if you can, please send me a message in terms of uh, financial contributions. We do need donations to keep this operation moving and going forward. You can send those um, inquiries to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. And God bless.